Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode of laser dry fire training. Fun, 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 fun laser dry fire training. Anyways, in this episode, I'm going to do the uh, iTarget Pro because there's no time limit and you can shoot an infinite amount. So, although it has some drawbacks, sometimes you get a little stray, stray hits here and there. But for the most part, I'm going to use this because um, I'm going to use my uh, Glock today. So let's uh, stand up here and take a look here. So here's what I'm using. I'm using the Glock today, my Glock 19 Gen 3. Is this a Gen 3? Yes. The Gen 3. The Gen 4, I carry my fanny pack. Let's uh, quickly check it. And uh, if you could see the laser G sight in there. So the laser G sight is in there. I do have a magazine. I'll probably take it out. It's an empty magazine. I'll probably take it out because I don't need it for the full grip. I can actually grip it. And plus, I'll probably need to uh, constantly rack the slide to reset the trigger. So we'll put this, uh, put this away now. So there we go, and uh, if you all know what this is about, then you know what's uh, what's going to happen here. So let's see here. Uh, where do I need to be? I'll be right about here. I'm probably only ten feet away, but this is for a pistol. If uh, if I do uh, longer distance, I usually take my AR nine. So, uh, but today I'm just practicing on the Glock, and the reason for that is. Um, Normally, I would shoot my Taurus TH9C, but I do have concerns that the more I practice with my Taurus TH9, the more the trigger spring is going to wear out. And until I get my um, my my THC from customer service under the warranty from Taurus, until I get that back, I'm not willing to practice with the with the Taurus TH9C. I got two of them. I did get two Taurus TH9Cs. And, uh, you know, I just want both of them back before I start practicing with them. Even though they did change their warranty policy to a lifetime warranty policy, I still am not too comfortable using it right now. So until I get both of them back, because the, the, the trigger spring on the TH9C, uh, let's see if I can take that out here. Oh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, here it is. So here's the TH9C, and you know this is uh, this is empty. I did take the G side out of this and put it into into the Glock. So I'm not going to be dry fire training as much. I might here and there. I might, you know, I might do it every once in a while, but uh, for the most part, I'm not really too comfortable with it because. Uh, the trigger springs breaking constantly. This is uh, this is my original TH9C. It broke. The trigger spring broke twice, and it's only been four four months. So uh, the more I practice with it, the more the greater the chance that the trigger spring is going to break. So that's why I'm not I'm not doing anything with this. So and as we'll put this we'll put this right here. Let's just put that out right here. All right, so so I'm going to be training with the Glock now, uh, my Glock 19, and uh, this is <laughs> this is going to be my carry gun. And I've decided to. This is always my carry gun. Now that I've tried a different gun, I just realized, you know, Glocks are very reliable carry guns because the trigger springs won't break. Downside is, you know, I just really like pulling the trigger a lot. Um, I can't, you know, usually you would need a hammer fire to pull the trigger to activate the laser, the firing pin to hit the laser, but, uh, oh well, oh well. Anyways, let's get started here. Okay. All right, we're going to get started now. All right. So, you know, so I have to rack it all the time, but. With the iTarget Pro, there's no time limit and infinite amount of shots. So here I go.
I'm trying not to be violent with my racking because it does affect the G-Site cartridge, um, the extractor. The extractor will push at the uh, uh, the G site, even though there's no lip to the cartridge, what happens is because the way the with the Glock and also with the Taurus TH9, the barrel moves up and down, and what happens is it's slowly loosening, unscrewing the end cap, the rubber end cap, and so uh, you know that's the only issue with it that I'm finding. All right, so I'm able to actually see. The trigger pull is really nice on this. It's, you know, striker fire, single action. So why wouldn't it be, right? I'm just pulling just enough to reset the trigger. And like I said, it's... You gotta be careful racking the slide. You can't rack it too hard, or the the laser in the G site will vibrate. The cartridge will vibrate, and then it may affect the the laser and the lenses in there. So this isn't. Huh, look at that. <laughs> look at this thing. It uh, <laughs> already it's already marked. I'm getting two misfires already. I'm glad I'm this close. I've changed the direction of how I have my setup so I can see it. Let's try to speed this up a little bit. It helps to wear gloves because uh, you know you you keep racking it and racking it, and the uh, the the trigger safety and the you know ridges on the trigger put some blisters on your trigger finger. Not too bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, there you go. First round. Uh, you know, I don't mind practicing with the Glock. Unfortunately, you can't do anything timed. And since the iTarget Pro doesn't have any timer or timing into it, it, it really doesn't matter. But uh, I do need something that will allow me to shoot an infinite amount of times and also has no timer so it won't time out so the iTarget Pro is more suited for that so you know don't be married to a certain app you know G Sight's a good app as well but it has its limitations unless you want to buy into it iTarget is also a good app iTarget Pro is a good app but it has certain limitations as well it doesn't have the timer uh, it, it misfires as you can see, some miss hits over there. Um, but each, if you use all three, you, you can never really, I mean, you don't really have to buy, quote unquote, buy the apps in there. Each of them have their own unique things that 
others that don't have that kind of complement each other. Anyways, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, so let me get to the second round. Okay, everybody, welcome back. All right, so where was I? Uh, okay, on the 10s now. Got a racket. So, and remember, this is not about timing. This is not about speed. This is just working on your fundamentals and mechanics. And also having fun. I'll try to do this a little bit faster for the 10. Should go by faster because there's not a lot of them. There's like 20 instead of 28. A little left on that one. You know what I like about the G site is that or a laser cartridge is it doesn't have to be G site, it could be any laser cartridge, that you can get instant feedback. You can dry fire, I mean you can just dry fire so the cows come home. But unfortunately you don't get good feedback. And you can work on your trigger pull. You can work on you know your draw. But you know, without that feedback of how you're shooting when you draw or how you're aiming when you pull that trigger, it's, uh, you don't, you don't get the instant feedback that will tell you how well you're doing. That's just my opinion. I'm not an expert in this, but I am doing it. I'm using it almost Day, almost every day anyway and what's great is I don't have to go to the range and spend hundreds of dollars in bullets just so I can improve my you know my grip my trigger pull and you know just basic fundamentals of um, you know, marksmanship, it's considering most ranges are basically, you know, uh, 3 to 15 yards anyway, as far as pistols. And, you know, most people shoot at 7 yards for the most part. Um, so you're not going to get too much of a bullet drop. So using a laser cartridge just makes a lot of sense. For me, anyway. Uh, I don't know about you. Okay, so now we're on the 15s. Let's go on to... I'm sorry. We finished the 10s, now we're on the 15s. Excellent. So no misfires from the app yet. Or miss hits. Let me see. I usually start on the left. Yeah, this, uh, the, the G site is very, it's accurate to the bore. And so another thing you can do is uh, get a good idea of how you're aligning your sights and where the G site laser actually hits. And so you'll see whether you're pulling or maybe your sights are off. Maybe they really are off. Um, you know, the thing about going to the range is the amount of ammo you have to waste just to figure out that your sights may be misaligned, the sights itself, or maybe the the uh, the slide and the frame don't match up. Uh, I did a video on the SD9, the SD9 VE by Smith & Wesson. The frame and the slide don't match up, and that's why I have to shoot on the left corner post of the front sight. Now, this is not about timing. Of course, you know, it's hard to do that with a laser dry fire training with a Glock. Unless you want to buy a fake gun or a barrel that costs 300 bucks to shoot 10 or 15 times with CO2 cartridges. You know, I mean, it's 
it's gets expensive just to dry fire just because it's a gun doesn't mean it has to be expensive did i miss two <laughs> i skipped i skipped a few sorry about that uh, let's go back over here it's like i skipped a few on the 15s sorry about that there you go all right and it's amazing the gun industry they charge so much money just because this a product is for a gun um they charge they way overcharge and uh, you know unfortunately uh you know to get better to get better at your marksmanship at your mechanics your trigger pull your drawing um they they it seems like the gun industry just overcharges just because it's for a gun i mean come on oil oil is oil whether it's gun oil or or crystal crystal light you know or cooking oil it's it's oil for goodness sakes i mean uh, they overcharge on so much ridiculous things that you could just just go out and just get motor oil probably synthetic motor oil would probably work um but anyways there we go now we're on the 20s ah you should be seeing a very lovely picture i like making the videos it's fun actually to make the videos and also to shoot uh you know and do the dry fire training so that's what making it fun and saving money i mean what more could you ask for really okay let's go on the 20s Oh, I was really off on that one. The only thing I don't like about the only thing I don't like about the eye target is that other than the miss hits that you see right there is the the holes. They're not holes. I mean, they, I know I know they're trying to make it look like you you shot a bullet through something, but I really would like to see where where the laser really hit. You know, with these holes, the way they have them set up, it's hard to determine that. I mean, they hit where they hit, but I wish you could pick the size. I wish you could pick the size, and that way I could get a better idea of, of where it hit. And instead of this weird, you know, bullet hole paper thing. But it, it works. It works. So the last one, uh, now I'm at the 25s, and I guess I'll, I can't rapid fire shoot, but I will shoot until I'm happy. Okay, I will shoot until I'm happy. Or at least if when the 25s gets all shot out. All right, all right. I think the I think twenty five shot out. <laughs> all right, there you go. This concludes this episode here of Laser Dry Fire Fun. And I don't know what the ending word is going to be. I'll figure something out as I choose a lovely picture for you to look at. But my Glock nineteen Gen three, uh, man, you know, if you look at aftermarket parts for the gen 3 there is a lot there's extra they even sell slides they'll sell lowers they'll sell the kits uh, the gen 3 market is still very strong um, and so is the gen 4 market as well but this is the gen 3 I only have one I'm, I'm considering getting another another Glock 19 it may be a gen 4 but there's even the gen 4 has a tremendous amount of uh, aftermarket so um, you know it is what it is, but right now my carry gun is still the Glock, still the Glock, um, specifically the Glock 19, because it uh, it just seems to work. If you do align the sights, it is accurate. The trigger pull is, you know, it may not be the best, but in general, it 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 is accurate. Okay. Uh, people try to improve upon it, but I don't do anything. Um, the way it comes from the manufacturer, that's the way I shoot it. 
all right? Because what I want to do is I want to pick up any Glock and be able to shoot it. If it has a better trigger, great. I can shoot faster and better. If it has a bigger magwell, great. I can reload faster, you know? If, it, if the barrel has cuts in it, great. The barrel will cool down faster or whatever. But the point is, I want to shoot with the stock from the manufacturer OEM because that way I can pick up any Glock and it's not like, you know, I don't get used to a lighter trigger and then I pick up a regular Glock and go, oh man, I, I didn't shoot fast enough because the trigger is so heavy or whatever. So anyways, that concludes this episode. Feel free to uh, like or dislike, leave a comment or even do a video response. Until next time, everyone, thumbs up. Bye.